Loveable Dot Dev has recently introduced this visual edits feature that actually helps us to visually edit and customize different UI elements. And now it is more easier to create a more customized and more better design. Let's just try this feature in Loveable Dot Dev and see it in action. Let's just create a basic, maybe a SaaS landing page. Let me just press enter. And now it will just like create a SaaS landing page. And after that, once it creates that landing page, then actually that visual edits feature can actually allow us to customize this landing page further. So right now you can see it is now has started creating all of the code files. All right, so it has created a basic landing page for us. So let's just like try customizing different sections of this landing page. To do that, what you need to do, you need to simply just click on this edit button in here. Simply just click on that. And then you can just hover over your uh, section that you want to change. Let's suppose this section that you want to change. It has this launch soon. It's, it's a launch soon section. You can simply just change text of this section to maybe launch now, launching now. And then you can just change further things about this section. You can change font style to something like, I don't know, like make it a little bit bigger. Then you can change color overall. So by changing color, it actually has changed that color. After that, you can simply just maybe directly change that inside your inside, inside the code. So you can change different parameters right inside your code as well. After that, you can simply just click on save and save, save this changing. So similarly, you can just do that for your button. You can make the padding bigger or smaller. You can customize it as you want. You can maybe change padding from here. Similarly, for all of these sections, you can change anything that you want. So this is fully customizable. I don't know how many of you have used WordPress, but this edit functionality in Lovable.dev now looks more like a visual composer from WordPress. I mean, we can visually enhance all of these components. Let's try another example. This time maybe let's create a dashboard and then like try to customize that dashboard design. So let me just press enter and then create a dashboard design. All right, so this is a basic dashboard design. Let's just try to edit and customize different sections in here. So you can simply just hover over to any UI element and then you can simply just customize that particular UI element. You can change paddings. You can change like if you want to like centralize that section, that particular UI element, you can do that. Similarly, you can change text, maybe call it my dashboard or something like that. And similarly, you can just like maybe like customize these icons. You can customize the entire section. You can maybe move the entire dashboard and even just like move the entire sidebar, customize it as you want. You can change maybe background colors or whatever you want. You can simply just completely customize this entire dashboard now. So like, rather than asking Loveable.dev once again to like make changings into your project. So you can simply just like directly visually customize that the way you want. So this is actually a big improvement because now we can treat Loveable.dev design more like a WordPress design and anyone who is not a front end developer or I mean, you don't want to like, like customize it yourself to like change a small thing. You, you, you have to like either ask Loveable.dev or like any of these AI code editors to customize that from there. But you know, you can actually directly customize inside in here. So this is just like amazing. Now actually Loveable.dev is giving a really tough competition to bold.new because now there is a direct super base integration that you can actually use in Loveable.dev similarly, just like bold.new. So that means you can build full stack applications, including backend and front and directly inside Loveable.dev. But yeah, still, we cannot build mobile applications in Loveable.dev and Bold.new is one step ahead in there. But I think it's a good step from Loveable.dev that now we can visually customize all of these changings in our front-end design. And that actually helps us to like quickly build front-end designs as per our needs. So this is really a big step ahead from Loveable.dev. And let's just see what comes in future. And if you have not liked this video, please do like this video as well. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.